You know, when teachers learn new techniques and technology and apply it in the classroom, the clues to a good education are elementary. That's what one teacher in CMS did, and it taught her students that the key to learning is not such a mystery after all. Powder spilled, furniture tossed, a science lab turned into a crime scene. And when you need a crime like this solved, who are you going to call? What about Garinger Forensic Science students? Teacher Katie Sanceri set up the crime scene, complete with caution tape and the outline of a body, to teach her students a world of important lessons. Within this um, project, they actually have to collect the evidence, analyze the crime scene, and then form conclusions as to what they think happened. Um, so it is more inquiry-based. They're able to really um, hone their analytical thinking skills and problem-solving skills as well. Students learn to follow lab procedures, how to handle chemicals and other dangerous substances, and how to make and use observations. But those lessons were disguised as a mystery and one that required hands-on involvement to solve. Instead of reading about measuring, students picked up rulers. Instead of taking observations out of a science book, I interviewed Mr. Williams. He had no reason at all. He just kept stuttering. <laughs> they made their own. And instead of studying about fingerprints, they took a set themselves. Ms. Sunsiri says lessons like these are invaluable. When students are able to do something that is a bit more hands-on, they really do remember it. Um, and they're doing higher level thinking versus just you know, sitting down and taking a definition or taking down some notes or something like that. Ms. Sunsiri also says hands-on labs like this one allow her to be part of the learning process instead of just a lecture. And allowing students to work together means they learn from each other. Students say lessons like this make them feel less like they're in class and more like they're part of something bigger. It's definitely something that very, you know, interests me a lot. You know, people who are interested in CSI and, and, and NCIS and things like that. You know, it, it's something that helps you get into it. And getting into the lessons means those lessons are getting into their heads. We definitely learn more whenever we can actually get up and move around. So at the end of this lab, students walked away with a better idea of who committed this crime and a better outlook on their future. I'm very excited for, about the rest of the year. Looking forward to more experiments and stuff like this. Upfront will continue in a moment.